In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a custom endpoints to your WooCommerce account page. And what are the endpoints? Those are the menus you see on the WooCommerce account navigation bar. As you see, there is another menu, contact us with information. I added order tracking here, but you can add whatever you like. For example, this page has a Learn Dash installed, so I merged Learn Dash courses to my WooCommerce account page in a way that I can access them from my WooCommerce account. Adding those endpoints is as easy as adding new posts. As you see, there is a custom endpoints menu on the left. I'm going to add a new endpoint, give it the title, for example, test, add something, publish it. Now I'm going to refresh my account page. There is a new menu here. If I open it up, it displays my information. Setting this up is really easy. I'm going to give you a small code snippet. The link to this code snippet is in the video description. Just add the code to your site and it works like a charm. So if you're interested, let's jump in. But before I show you the solution, here's a short shout out from the sponsor of this video. And that is Rapid Cloud. First things first, what is Rapid Cloud? It's a managed hosting for WordPress, which has a really good reputation. As you see currently, it has a 4.8 star rating in a Trustpilot. Now let's talk about performance. With uh, Rapid Cloud, your website stays fast and responsive even during high traffic peaks. It is because it's powered by Lightspeed Enterprise servers and it uses optimized caching with Lightspeed Cache and Redis. It allows Rapid to ensure that your site is always performing at its best. And not only that, it is designed to handle dynamic features and high concurrency without uh, missing a beat. It has a free Rapid CDN and Redis caching with Relay. And when it comes to security, then Rapid Cloud doesn't also hold back. With multi layer proactive defenses like Komodo, Web Application Firewall, Advanced DDoS Protection, and Real Time Vulnerability Detection, your data is safeguarded all the way. Plus, each website is isolated through containerization, ensuring maximum security and performance stability. What is also awesome is that they have a virtual patching for enhanced security, which ensures that your site remains secure until an official update is released. Plus, they have a malware protection, which is a really nifty feature. You can test it for free for seven days. So just click on Start Free button, register, log in, and after that, you'll see a dashboard like this. So if you're looking for a reliable web hosting, then Rapid Cloud is a way to go. Now, in order to make it work, you have two options. First, if you have a team installed, for example, I'm using Ploxy team, then install a child team for this one here, activate it, and then go to the team's file editor, open up functions PHP file, and paste the code I'm going to show you down below here. Update the file and it works. I don't like this very much because in case I'm going to change the team, I'm going to lose all the modifications. Therefore, I'm using the other options. I'm going to go to the plugins, add new, and I'm going to search for WP code, this one here. This allows me to add all sorts of code snippets without using a child team. For example, if I go to my code snippets menu, then you'll see I have 15 active snippets, which all do all sorts of stuff. For example, add new button to the Gutenberg header, Back to top button for Gutenberg. This one here adds a portfolio custom post type and so on and so forth. To add a new snippet, go to the code snippets, add snippet, choose add custom snippet. Next, choose PHP snippet. Give it the title, for example, custom woo endpoints. Now paste the snippet here. Once again, the link to the snippet is in a video description. Next, scroll down and choose Run Everywhere. Now, there is nothing else to configure here. Just verify that the PHP snippet is selected from here. Activate the snippet, update it. And after that, you'll see a custom endpoints tab on the left. Open it up. And now you can add endpoints. Just click on the Add New Custom Endpoint. Give it the title, for example, Shipping Information. And now you can use your Gutenberg editor to customize the tab. Pay attention though that it supports only default WordPress blocks and some other third party blocks, but it doesn't support all sorts of containers and rows and info boxes from third party developers. Okay, let's add something to the site here. Let's publish it. And now when I go to the site and refresh the page, 
you see there is a shipping information. I can open it up and it's here. If for some reason it displays, oops, the page cannot be found, then go to the settings, permalinks, and just resave the settings. Usually it should flush permalinks itself, but just in case you should know it. Now this is one of my sites. I have another site here which has a Learn Dash installed. So I'm going to show you how to add a Learn Dash to your My Account page. Let's go to the WooCommerce custom endpoints. I'm going to send it to the trash. Let's add a custom endpoint. Give it the title, My Courses. And now let's search for a Learn Dash. And I'm going to add a Learn Dash profile here. First, when I publish it, and go to my account pages, you'll see there's my courses, and this one is displayed here. As you see, this block allows me to customize it. For example, I can disable profile header, I can expand all course sections, and so on and so forth. In a similar way, I can add other Learn Dash blocks here. Just choose the one you would like to display, and you're good to go. And now when I save it and refresh it, you'll see that there is no profile information, just my courses here. This is only one way you can customize your WooCommerce shop. I have also made a separate video about how to add custom tabs in a similar way. That is, just go to custom tabs, add a custom tab, choose the category, add your content. And when you open up your site, those are the three global tabs. But you can also add product specific tabs by clicking on this menu here. If you're interested, then take a look at the video you see on the screen right now. In the meantime, take care.